Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who is risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, we have been showing for the last few days that we're at this time with this great red dragon rising with seven heads and ten horns. And this has a lot to do with Donald Trump and his red hats, and especially the way that he goes after women. See this here? At this point in time in the scriptures, we're nearing the time when Jesus Christ will go to heaven. See the woman right here on the moon, ready to give birth? At this time, the dragon will go after the woman. And there appeared another one in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And, there. and he goes after the woman. The dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child as to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. This represents when Jesus takes the throne and then the dragon will go after the woman. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. These signs are all around us of that being mad and angry. Just as you see here, it's not one individual. Satan works as like a hive intelligence, like a computer, controlling many, many people all around the world. As you saw right here, he has seven heads and ten horns. Each ten horn is a different king around the world. They control people using spirits. These things happen bringing violence. Just as here in Sweden, hundreds of cars were burned and, and terrible violence spread everywhere. And all of these young people were in black hoods. That's a big sign of the darkness and this thing's minions. Well, these signs are all around us. Yesterday we had shown this about the beast being after the bride and going after the woman. And that the woman is considered to be like this part of the dog star Sirius even. This is probably one of the easier ways to explain this. This is a glyph from Egypt. You have to remember that from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt and Moses came out from underneath the burdens of the Egypt meaning like the pyramids. These all map out the biblical end times. Right here you can see this clownish looking figure, like the Joker. See him there? Coming down and going through the Sphinx and getting into different people on the earth. See him right there? That's your Satan. He's seen like the king of the Illuminati. See the clownish looking guy right here? That means a mask. He tries to make you mad, keep you distracted. See the burdens of Egypt. See the pyramid? There he is. Well, this up here is the dog star Sirius, part of God's throne, the star of Bethlehem, and the woman. On the right-hand side is where Jesus Christ sits in the power of God. There's Jesus. The left-hand side is the accuser, Satan, coming down. See him right there? And this is all the biblical end times, even with the mark of the beast down there, and this eagle ready to go for the woman. You can see all that right there, right in front of us. See, that represents the woman right there and the moon. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. These signs are all around us. We had all of these attacks, and now we have the signs of the beast going after the woman. Trump going after Omarosa. See right here? And Trump even makes a statement here. Trump calls Omarosa that dog. See right there? The dog. The woman. All perfect. That means Donald Trump is one of these seven heads and ten horns and he's deceiving the world as foretold. So let's go over here and we're going to show that beast after the dog. We're going to show this guy, this spirit, 
Donald Trump is just a host avatar. He, he probably doesn't even know and he thinks with his ego that he's doing it all himself. He is just a puppet, just as Obama, just as nearly everything on this earth. You either have the Holy Ghost with you or this thing controls you. He, one of his names is called a driver. He goes inside of you and he drives you. So let's head over towards this one area, Gothenburg was the number one place hit through all this. See all the cars burn and the people in the hoodies and all these young people running around creating violence. Well, right here, see here? Now you're going to see the great red dragon beast going after the woman, after the dog. See the dog right here? How is this done? Because all of this earth is created right now to actually catch the rebellion of the angels and to weed them out and to get rid of the rebellion of the fallen angels this earth was created the fallen angels came down and corrupted it God destroyed that earth with a great flood and then he rose this earth out of the waters and it is a great story to catch every single angel that has gone against God to weed out the whole rebellion that's what this whole time is. It's not just a test for humanity. It's a test by God to test the angels. Because in the end, the angels are not worthy. And they have to all bow to Jesus. Revelation 5 shows how it's all a test. And that only Jesus is worthy. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man on earth, nor no man in heaven or in earth, neither under earth, that is heaven, earth, and hell, was able to open the book. Nothing, nobody, nowhere in the whole universe, no angel, no man, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open, to read the book, neither to look upon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. The Lamb alone is worthy. Even all of the angels are being tested. This is all about a rebellion. Do you not know that we will judge the angels because of the fallen angels and that God believes in the midst of the other angels there are hidden spies? It's, it, this whole earth is created to just catch them and to get Jesus' sheep and then to make the real creation. This is actually a test for the angels. See, do you not know that we will judge the angels? Who doesn't get judged? All of Jesus' people. Jesus' people don't get judged, and the angels do get judged, because there's a rebellion. So let's show that here. See the dog there? And here's your big, giant Donald Trump beast guy going after her. And Donald Trump is just an avatar. The spirit inside of Donald is inside of many, many, many people. It works like one hive intelligence. There he is. The beast. The red dragon. Watch how God has it all set up. Anger reds. Do you see it right up there at the top? The angry red dragon going after the woman just as we've shown who's ready to give birth see the birth is the eagle flying right then see isn't that awesome there he is the angry red dragon Trump a great red dragon even, there's even a part in the Bible where it says he will speak great things. <laughs> He's so busted. And Obama was part of this too. Obama was one of the seven heads and ten horns with seven crowns. All of these different kings. He works like one individual. The ten horns with thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. Obama had his kingdom, he had his hour, now we're on the Donald Trump. These have one 
mind. It doesn't matter if they're black, white, Republican, Democrat. They are all part of that beast. These shall make war with the Lamb. There it is right there. And there's all the riots. And we just saw how he can control hundreds and hundreds of different people in different areas. How does he do it? Because it's part of legion, who is many, but work is one. There it is. Just as we've been showing. Satan going after the dog and after the woman. See? See how the symbolism plays out? Trump calls Omarasa that dog. There's Donald Trump. There's the dog. She represents the woman of the Bible meant to give birth. This is just symbolism. See how it plays out? It's not her herself. She's just an avatar also. But this is the symbolism of that. And that's how it works in the voodoo. That's Satan. Right there. Tricking the world. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead. And you'll be saved. Hallelujah. I know as an American it's very hard to realize that our country has fallen this far. The whole earth has fallen. Maybe that will make everybody feel a little bit better. The whole earth is a, is a big mess, guys. This is all a big trap to catch the angels, to trick them to come out, to catch every little rotten angel that wants to betray God, to get all of the spies that worked inside of Satan's kingdom, and all of the angels that helped him get back and forth. It, it's a big thing to catch them all. In the Bible, it talks of God trapping them and then destroying them. The wicked tenants. He destroys them. The vengeance of God for what they did to his son. That represents the same spirit that killed Jesus Christ and is now going after the woman. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. There he is. The angry red dragon. God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.